What's going on, everybody? Joe from Total Justice Game here. I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like what we do, please give our videos a like. Please subscribe. We work really hard to bring you guys Buddy Fight five days a week via deck profiles or match videos. So today we're going to be talking about my Abigail deck. Abigail is one of my favorite decks. You guys all really seem to like the Abigail deck. Uh, I posted last time. This is my newest build, um, so we're going to hop right into it. Our, our buddy is still SD Abigail. I really like him as the buddy. We'll get right into the deck profile. So, first off, we are running, of course, four copies of SD Abigail. SD Abigail is always going to be the buddy in the deck. Um, we get to gain a life off of him. Uh, at a 2 one, one he doesn't really hit numbers, but he's still decent because he helps uh, when we need to sack a black dragon for something. His ability, if I have five, if the opponent has five cards in the discard pile, I get to draw a card. If they have 15, I get to blow up a monster. So it's unlimited size restriction on the destruction, which is good. Uh, draw is good, and the fact I get to gain a life is good. So next up, we are going to be running... Four copies of the brand new uh, Black Death Dragon of Retaliation Abigail. I want to give a very special thanks to Four. Uh, he helped me a whole bunch, uh, making sure I got all four of the Abigail packs. Uh, so the new Abigail is a 621, so he hits numbers at a six. Uh, just a little bit over. Uh, I get call cost is Pay Gauge. Uh, when he's destroyed, uh, put two cards from the top of the opponent's deck into the discard pile, and I draw a card. Um, also, with the effect of my primary weapon, which has not changed for the last deck, it is still the scythe. You can actually look at this deck, at, look at this card as when destroyed, mill two, draw a card, and the opponent takes a damage. Furthermore, we are playing classic Abigail still. Uh, classic Abigail also is a 621, call cost is pay gauge. Uh, activated ability of discard a card. From your hand, uh, if you do, destroy a monster in the opponent's field. If you do destroy a monster, uh, they mill equal to the... They mill from the top of the deck equal to the size of the cost of the card destroyed. Uh, again, with the sight, that also deals a point of damage to them. This is also not once per turn, so you can blow up their field, uh, control their board, and you get a free point of damage in for destruction. Uh, for non-Abigail cards, uh, first off we were running uh, three Gloomy Black Dragon Snake Balls in, uh, five, two, four. He hits numbers at that five. His ability, when he enters the field, you can destroy another Black Dragon on your field. If you do, uh, gauge one and draw one. So, really, really good. Uh, he does uh, combo quite a bit in the deck. Helps me to uh, do certain chain and interactions, which we'll talk about as we get further down. I run three of him. Uh, next up, we run three copies of Jinx Landfill Curse Count. Uh, at a 511, he does hit numbers for uh, destroying monsters. Uh, he has the Spectral Strike ability that says when he destroys a monster, uh, an opponent's monster, uh, deal one damage to the opponent. If there are four or more different Black Dragon monsters in your drop zone, deal four uh, damage to the opponent instead. So he clears out uh, cards, hopefully causing at least four damage. And then the one that always trips me up, guys, and I apologize, is just he is a wordy, wordy guy. Uh, Jet Black Grim Reaper Gaito. He is a 4-2-1. Call cost is pay of life. Whenever he attacks, destroy a monster in the opponent's field. Uh, if you destroy a monster in the opponent's field, the opponent uh, mills from the top card equal to their size, and you gauge equal to the size of the monster destroyed. And then again, on top of that, with the weapon we have, this also deals a point of damage to them. So that's mill, so that's free destruction, mill, gauge, and a point of life to the opponent. Really, really good. Uh, for impact monsters, we are running two Abigail Vanishing Death Holes. Uh, 838, uh, call cost pay three. Destroy a black dragon on the field. That's very important that it's a black dragon, not a black dragon monster. We'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, when he enters the field during the final phase, destroy all monsters on the opponent's field. Um, other than this card, or destroy all monsters on the field, excuse me. Other than this card, uh, if there are six or more cards in the opponent's drop zone, he becomes an 868. If there are 12 or more in the drop zone, the attack cannot be nullified if he's swinging on his own. 
Uh, we are also running one copy of Daredevil Soul Crusher. Daredevil Soul Crusher is a 9-2-4. Call cost is pay, uh, pay three. Put a Darkest Dragon World monster from your field into this card soul. It has Shadow Dive, which is very important in this current meta right now. There is a lot of close center decks in my meta anyways. Uh, when this card attacks, if there are four or more monsters and spells in your opponent's drop zone, which is very easy to achieve in this deck, deal three points of damage. So it burns them for three, has a Shadow Dive for two, so you are potentially getting five crit, and he has a decent body on him. Next up, we are, of course, running, again, three of the si Soul Sucking Blade, uh, su uh, Second One, Sukiti One, I can't really pronounce it. It's the size. Uh, so the size are 6-2, uh, hits above numbers, has a decent credit too. Uh, call cost is pay gauge and pay life. Very easy to accomplish. Uh, when a card from your opponent's field, when a card from your opponent's deck is put into his or her drop zone, by effect of your card, deal a damage of point, point of damage to the opponent. This ability only activates once per turn. As you've seen with the majority of the deck, uh, what this is really is this is essentially a crit of three because on the opponent's turn or your turn, you're going to hit them for a point of damage with almost anything you do in this deck. So, and then you can swing at a monster, blow it up, or you can swing at them for a crit of two. We, of course, are going to be running two of the brand new Darkness Dragon Forces, uh, Dragon Force Star Retaliation. Uh, again, I was very lucky. I got helped out immensely by the guys at the shop uh, in getting the secret packs I need. I just really like the scythe more than anything else. Uh, let me read this one because I'm not too familiar with it yet. So its release cost is I have an Abigail in my field or my drop zone. The equip cost is if my life would become zero, I pay two gauge and discard a card, pay a life. It can't be returned to hand, uh, destroyed, and specs can't be nullified. And if this card is equipped, destroy a monster in the opponent's field and mill five from the top of their deck. Really, really good. I like it. Uh, next up for spells, we're going to be running a lot of two ofs. So first off, we're going to run two Black Dragon Remade. Uh, Black Dragon Remade says, if something would be destroyed, uh, next time it is destroyed, uh, it remains on the field. This combos very well with Retaliation Abigail, because of how Retaliation Abigail works. Is if it would be destroyed, you mill two, and then you get, uh, they mill two, and you draw a card. If you uh, respond with Black Dragon Remade upon Abigail's destruction, uh, Abigail triggers. Black Dragon Remade triggers uh, because of uh, how it works. Abigail remains on the field, so they have to destroy him twice, meaning you essentially, off one Abigail and one card, get draw two and they mill four. So it's really, really good. Uh, next up for spells, we run two Purgatory Loophole. Purgatory Loophole is, I can only cast, there are six more, my opponent's drop zone. I can pay a gauge and search my deck for up to one Black Dragon Monster. Uh, and put it into my hand and shuffle my deck. This lets me go get any of my monsters on the, in the deck that we just talked about. Save for, I believe, uh, Daredevil Soul Crush. But that's about it. Uh, next up we got two Gale Destructions. Gale Destruction is one of my favorite spells for this. I can only cast my Abigail's my buddy. That's very easy to do. All of my buddy will always be Abigail. Call cost is, cast cost is pay gauge. Counter, destroy a size two or less monster in the opponent's field, and they mill two. Again, if we have the scythe equipped, this is destroy, and they lose a life. Really, really good. Uh, Black Bargain is our next card. We're going to two Black Bargain. I can only cast this when an opponent's monster is destroyed by the effects of a card. I have plenty of ways to kill off monsters for free. Uh, Abigail, Jet Black, uh, Gaido, Jet Black, Grim Reaper, Gaido. Uh, Abigail Vanishing Death Hole, whole slew of ways. Um, counter is I gauge and draw. Uh, I do need gauge in the stack. You really, really do need gauge in the stack. Black Bargain is just really, really helpful. Uh, next up, we're going to be going into the three us for this spell. We're going to be running three Soul Steel. Soul Steel is very, very helpful. Uh, you gauge two, and then there, if there are ten or more cards in the opponent's drop zone, 
you gauge an additional card. A lot of people from the last video wanted to know why I was not running uh, Tartus Rune over this. Tartus Rune is a very good card and a very versatile card, but I just need gauge, and Soul Steel gets that job done for me. So we're running three of that. And we are running three Obituary. Uh, obituary is a set spell. It is also a black dragon, which is very important because this lets us destroy it to pay for other costs to combo. So it's a set spell. When it's set, if I have a black dragon in the drop zone, I draw a card. Uh, its abilities cannot be nullified, which is also important. Uh, when this card is put into the drop zone from your field, uh, your opponent pitches a card, uh, chooses a card, and pitches it. That's really, really good because cards in hand are very, very important in this game, and any way of discard is just amazing. And there's a lot of ways you can just combo and get this off the field. Um, we're getting down to the final four. Uh, we were on black, four black cloth blade. Uh, I like the new artwork. It's really, really nice. Um, this is, you can only cast this during an attack on your opponent's turn. If I do not have a monster in the center, uh, counter nullify the attack, and put the top card of the opponent's deck into the drop zone. Again, if we have the scythe, so this is, if we have the scythe, uh, this is nullify the attack, mill a card, and they take a point of damage for attack. Really, really good. And then the final card in the Abigail deck is Black Dragon Shield. Everybody knows what it does. It reduces damage to zero and you gain a life. Uh, that's the Black Abigail deck. I hope you guys enjoy it. I really, really enjoy this deck. I love Abigail to death. I love Guido to death. I'm really happy he's going to continue being in cross. And again, guys, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to us. We are working really hard. Thank you so much.